Girl Kids. So good to see you guys again. Really excited that you're back with us. Well, we had so much fun talking about Bible heroes last time. That's why I'm dressed up and flying around like a hero again today. Woohoo! Oh, look out, ducks! Yikes! Whew, this, this hero work can be dangerous business. So if you're doing it at home at work, please be careful too, right? And so I'm really excited about today's story. We have an amazing Bible hero. Today's story involves a man who loved God so much, a powerful king, some jealous men, and a lion. Woohoo! Whoa, sorry, airplane guys. Yikes, it's crazy up here. But before I tell you, let's first take some time to go and worship God. And once we're done, we'll see if you can guess who our Bible hero is today. Right? So get up, get ready, and we're going to worship God together. Woohoo! Show your love I'm loved by you Purify my heart In all I do I will love my friends And my enemies You die for me Now I believe We're blessed and all we do
loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me God made me, he made everything God loves me, he can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and he loves me When I look up, 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 I know he's real When I look down, down, down what I found when I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me cause he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found when I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me cause he loves Hey guys, did you happen to guess the Bible hero? If you said Daniel, then you are correct. Congratulations! Daniel was just a young man when he, his friends, and his family were taken away from his home in Jerusalem by a king whose name was Nebuchadnezzar. He had to travel on a long journey to his new home in a place called Babylon. While there, God took care of Daniel and his friends. Now, the king of Babylon and the people, they did not love God. They did all kinds of evil things, but not Daniel. He loved God and he wanted to follow God by living the way God wanted him to, even if no one else did. The Bible says in Ezekiel 14 verse 4 that just like Noah, Daniel was also a righteous man. The Bible also says that Daniel was a man of godly character who did the right thing. Godly character is trying to act just like God's character. It's trying to behave like God does. So what does that look like? Well, here are some examples from Daniel's life. The Bible says in Daniel 6 that he was faithful, he was always responsible, and completely trustworthy. Those are godly character traits. The ways that Daniel showed that he loved God and had godly character was by being faithful, by always obeying God, by being responsible. He completed the duties and the work that were required of him, and he was trustworthy. He always was honest and truthful in everything that he did. So can you guys think of a few other examples of godly character? Oh, I know, maybe like honesty, patience, oh, and kindness is a good one, and self-control, and there's so many more. So right now, let's look at a story of some godly character. Okay, I think everything's ready. I've got my food. Now I just need Robin and Mark to show up. Oh, guys, I'm so excited about this. Oh, there's the doorbell. There they are. Oh, hi, Robin. Hi. So good so to good see to you. Here. Yeah, Mark. Good, good to see you. You too. Yeah, oh, it's okay to hug, I guess, because we're family, right? Exactly. Yeah, so no problem there. Uh, guys, I have prepared this special food for us, and I'm just so excited to eat together here. And then I've got your favorite coffee amazing. and everything. Yeah, so so why don't we just, let's not wait. Let's just dig in, right? All right, let's, let's go. So, okay. Oh, guys, the doorbell. I'm sorry. Okay. That's okay. Do you mind? I I'll hurry. Um, no you're, problem. We're just waiting. We promise I we'll wait. Yeah? We'll okay, wait great. You. Thanks, Absolutely. guys. Thank you so yes. much. Sorry, no guys. Problem. No worries. Oh. This looks really good. Yeah, it smells really nice, too. I mean, <laughs> we could already eat. Mark, we promised we'd wait for Corey. He was <sighs> really looking forward to eating with us. I know, but it smells so good, and I'm so hungry. I, I don't think Corey would mind at all. Mark, that's not the point. It doesn't matter if he's not upset because 
We promised we'd wait for him, and he was really looking forward to eating with us. Oh, you're right. You're right. God wants us to be people of godly character, and being patient and keeping your word is definitely a part of that. Exactly. It'll oh. be worth the wait. Okay, okay. Guys, guys, so sorry, so sorry. Oh, you waited, oh! You know, it just means so much that you guys waited. I really wanted to eat this together. And, and you know, guys, when, when, when Robin and Mark waited, they displayed such great godly character. You guys were patient and you kept your word. And that, that means so much to me. Of course. So, so thank you for that. Right. Awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's have some coffee and let's eat together. Let's oh, dig let's in. Let's do it. Whoa. That was just such a great example of godly character. But let's get back to our story. Not only was Daniel a man of character, but he was also a man of prayer. The Bible says that Daniel would go into his room and pray three times a day, just giving thanks to God, giving him honor, asking for his help. Whoa, prayer, his prayer time was just so so, so important to him. It helped to encourage him and grow godly character as well. That is just so awesome. Dear God, thank you so much for being such a faithful and good God. I love you so much and please help me to follow you and to love others. Please make me strong and help me to grow godly character that would honor you. Amen. Because Daniel was a man of godly character, God blessed him and made him very wise. Not only did God bless Daniel, but he allowed Daniel to gain favor in the king's eyes as well. That Daniel, I really like him. There is just something different about him. His God has blessed him and made him just so wise. I really need to put him in charge of more things in my kingdom. In fact, the king thought that Daniel was so wise that he wanted to put him in charge of his entire kingdom. But there was some evil men who did not love God and they were jealous of him because they wanted to be in charge of the kingdom. So they tried and tried to find something wrong with Daniel so that they could get him in trouble with the king. But because Daniel was a man of godly character, they could not find anything wrong with him to report to the king. So they had to try something else. They knew that Daniel did not worship the idols that they did and that he only worshiped the one true God of Israel. So they made a plan to go to the king and make a new rule that for the next 30 days, everyone could only bow down to the king and no one else, not even God. If they bowed down to anyone else, they would be thrown into the lion's den. Yikes! That was bad news for Daniel for sure because he was a faithful man to God alone. That meant that if he was seen praying to the one true God, he would be thrown into the lion's den. So what was he going to do? Wow. I can't believe that the king made a law that I'm only allowed to bow down and pray to him. Well, I did make a promise to myself and God that I would serve only the king and do anything I could to help him. I will not bow down and worship any other God or person, only the one true God, even if that means I get in trouble. God, this is a really difficult time. And I'm asking you to give me wisdom and help me make the right decision. Help me to always follow you no matter what happens. Amen. So because Daniel was a man of godly character who did the right thing, he would not bow down to any other god. And that did get him in trouble. The men who helped make the law 
to catch Daniel were watching and just waiting, waiting for him to pray to his God. And when he did, those men reported to the king what Daniel had done. And when the king heard the news, he was just so, so sad because he loved Daniel. Woe is me. I am just so heartbroken. Oh, this new law I made got Daniel in trouble. If only I had known this would not have happened. I, I would have never made this law that everyone had to bow down to me only. Now, my friend Daniel needs to be thrown in the lion's den where he will be eaten. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe there is a way I could, I could get him out of this. But sadly, he could not change the law for the next 30 days. And Daniel would have to be thrown into the lion's den. How do you think Daniel was feeling? Ah, guys, I really don't want to be thrown in with those hungry lions. They look so scary. But because I'm a man of godly character, and I try and do the right thing, I will not turn my back on God by bowing down to the king. And honestly, even though I'm afraid, I'm going to continue to trust that God will be with me no matter what happens. All right, I guess it's time to go to the lion's den. Yikes, it looks like this is it for Daniel. Roar! Oh, but, but wait. Oh, it appears that the lion is friendly now towards Daniel. And he won't eat him after all. Huh, I wonder what happened. Daniel, servant of the living God, was your God, whom you served so faithfully, able to rescue you from the lions? Praise God that you're okay and that your God protected you. I decree that everyone throughout my kingdom should tremble with fear before the God of Daniel, the God who rescues and saves his people. Oh, he performs miraculous signs and wonders in the heavens and on earth. So that day, God saved Daniel from the lions and restored him back to working for the king in his palace. So that is the story of our amazing Bible hero, Daniel. Do you know why he was a real hero? It was not because he was saved from the lions. It was because Daniel loved God and he would not bow down to any other gods. It was also because he was a man of godly character. That means he was faithful, responsible, and trustworthy. Do you guys know that you can be a hero with godly character just like Daniel? And how do you do that? Well, being a hero like Daniel means that when your mom or dad asks you to help around the house, you do it to the best of your ability with no complaining. It means that you are honest and never tell a lie, even if it means that you could get in trouble. It means that you are kind to others and share when someone else needs help. Kids, I want my character to be changed by God to be more like him too. But on our own, it can be so difficult to be kind and responsible and have godly character. To be honest, I really need God's help. 
And we need to pray, pray, and pray every day just like Daniel did. Daniel faithfully prayed. And guys, spending time with God helps make our heart want to be more like him, to have godly character. And so I'm going to encourage all of you amazing kids to practice at home, taking a little bit of time every day of the week to pray to God to praise him, to thank him for all the good things he does, but to also ask him for help to build godly character in you too. So why don't we take a moment and pray right now and ask God to help us do that. And you can pray at home too. Dear God, we thank you that you love us so much. Please help us to become a hero like Daniel. Help us this week to be people who have godly character just like Daniel did. Help us to always do the right thing, no matter what anyone else says. Holy Spirit, can you remind us also to take some time to pray during the week too? Amen. Well, thank you kids for joining us today, and we'll pray that you have an amazing week. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the Lion's Den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey! Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel! Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. My hero, thanks. Wow, well, time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey, Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. 